Well, it's July 2nd now, and we just got our 8 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center on Hurricane Barrel. And as you can see, it is still a monster of Category 5 status. Note that the winds are 165 miles an hour now, and the pressure is down to 934 millibars. So when it made landfall yesterday in Carrico in the island nations of Grenada, it did have about 150 mile an hour winds, and the pressure was about 950 millibars. So the pressure is down about 16 millibars, and that is increasing the winds about 15 miles an hour as well well, but right now it is situated between Puerto Rico and Venezuela in the Eastern Caribbean Sea. It's going to continue its west northwest path at 22 miles an hour right now, so a slight uptick in speed from this time yesterday and is expected to gradually weaken over the next couple of days. So down to category four status, hopefully here in the next couple of hours, and then eventually by the time it impacts Jamaica, category three hurricane, and then eventually a category two hurricane as we get into the overnight hours on Thursday. After that, question marks remain on how barrel will stay or Organized and also the path it is going to take once it reaches the Gulf. So good agreement has the barrel trekking through the Caribbean Sea and then upwards to the Yucatan Peninsula. With it being 4th of July weekend and many people having cruise plans possibly, you're definitely going to need a contingency plan if you're planning on traveling to places like Jamaica, Cancun, Cozumel, Belize, anywhere in North Central America, the Yucatan Peninsula, and also any island nations down here in the Caribbean Sea. But as we get into Saturday and Sunday, you can see it's going to trek somewhere into the Gulf of Mexico and it is expected to gradually weaken as it moves over this land strip right here in the Yucatan Peninsula. But we don't quite know what path it's going to take right after that. So is it going to have implications here in the United States or is it going to move over into Mexico where we have seen tropical storms and tropical systems move on over and create some substantial flooding in the desert area down there in central east Mexico. So here's the GFS model or ensemble and this is individual model runs on these spaghetti plots. So you can see the furthest east that these models have this going is just to the east of Houston getting close to the Louisiana Gulf Coast right there but good agreement remains that it's going to go somewhere around here into northeast Mexico maybe even into the very southern portion of Texas on the Gulf Coast. Now we take it over to the Euro good agreement once again that this is going to take a path west northwest through the Caribbean Sea and over the Yucatan Peninsula and the best agreement in the Euro lies that it's going to go into this east central portion of Mexico but also it does have a lot of model runs that are stretching up the Gulf Coast to Texas and even eventually the Gulf Coast of Louisiana. So that's why it's going to remain very important that we keep you updated over the next couple of days for what implications this could have in the southeast United States. But as of right now, it still stands. No impacts are going to be seen here in central Georgia. But if we get a little bit of tropical moisture to give us some rain, I'm sure that would not be a complaint to many. Now taking a look at another area that we are keeping our eye on right there is Hurricane Barrel. Yes, it is a beast compared to this little minuscule area of development right here following it a very similar path to where barrel did go through so ocean water is probably still relatively warm there but there is a decrease in confidence in the chances of this de uh, this developing over the next two days and over the next week so this 20 percent over the next two days that's a downtick from 30 percent as of yesterday and the 30 percent chance of development over the next week that is a downtick from the 60 percent yesterday but still something we need to keep our eye on over the next couple of days once we go back to barrel it is really just an unprecedentedly strong storm for this time of year. So the earliest storm of such strength ever recorded in the Atlantic Ocean. That's all time and the only category four hurricane ever recorded in the month of June and now the earliest category five ever on record taking the cake from Hurricane Emily back in 2005 and barrel strengthened from a tropical depression into a category four storm in a mere 42 hours. Yes, that we have seen this rapid intensification with other storms in the past, but only a handful of times. In fact, only six other times and all those times were after September 1st on record. So we never really see a storm of such strength this early in hurricane season. That is why we are continuing to pro provide you with updates as we do get them. But as of right now, no implications for central Georgia, but we are going to continue to keep a close eye on monster hurricane barrel.